Several teams are asking for a trade for the Raiders veteran. To close this deal, the Raiders want to replace him with someone who has the same skills as him, but a little younger. The idea is to sell him for a high price, whoever pays the most will get him, and buy someone else for a lower price, so we would have a nice profit. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like. For the second season in a row, the Raiders will start the year with speculation bubbling under the surface about one of the best players on the roster, wide receiver Devontae Adams, who has consistently denied reports of trade rumors, but whose name is continually linked to such talks. There is no doubt that teams are asking the Raiders to trade Adams. If the Raiders were to actually close the deal, they would still want to find a way to bring back a top-tier pass catcher to replace him. That's where some speculation about the future of the NFL wide receiver market gets even more interesting. Why not sell high for a star like Adams and try to buy low for a successor? In the eyes of the analytics site NFL Draft Network, that successor could be Debo Samuel, a one-and-done star who could find himself on the market at a value price because his team, the 49ers, is in financial trouble and will try to offload some players. Debo Samuel is on this list, and the Raiders are a potential candidate to get him. As the site noted, if Las Vegas struggles throughout 2024 and the rumors about Adam's departure become reality, General Manager Tom Telesco could quickly replace him with another reliable veteran in preparation for the arrival of a young quarterback. And Samuel would be that reliable veteran. Samuel is 28 years old, three years younger than the Raiders' Adams, and while in some ways he's seen his effectiveness diminish, in others he's just a unique player who needs to be handled a certain way by the team's offense. No coach seems to understand this more than the 49ers' Kyle Shanahan, who takes advantage of Samuel's ability to break tackles by using him in the running game. Samuel had a breakout year as an All-Pro and Pro Bowler in 2021, catching 77 passes for 1,405 yards while rushing for 365 yards and 8 touchdowns. The 49ers have since acquired running back Christian McCaffrey and watched Brandon Ayuk develop into a star, making Samuel's reliance on the 49ers much less necessary. In 2022, after a bitter contract dispute, Samuel agreed to a three-year, $72 million deal with the 49ers, which includes an exit for the team after the season. The presumption has been that with Ayuk signing a new contract, McCaffrey getting his deal reworked, and quarterback Brock Purdy needing a new deal, the 49ers simply won't be able to afford Samuel. That's where the potential to acquire him in a trade comes in. If the 49ers, the NFC's Super Bowl representative, disappoint, Samuel could be on the market. After Ayuk's deal expired, veteran NFL insider Michael Silver of the San Francisco Chronicle wrote on Twitter slash X, the 49ers will be fielding offers on Debo Samuel between now and the trade deadline. Right now, highly unlikely they'll trade him. Early November? Depends on a lot of things. Such a deal, then, would require a lot of moving parts to come together perfectly. The Raiders would need to underwhelm enough to open 2024 to decide that trading Adams for a first-round pick and another asset makes sense. The 49ers would need to disappoint as well and decide that trading Samuel makes sense. The Raiders would then have to decide that rather than playing out the year and waiting to land a top receiver in free agency, it would be better to add Samuel now and keep him on his current contract. There's some logic to that because the Raiders could very well use their top pick on a quarterback in 2025 and would want a quality receiver, like Samuel on hand. It's a long shot. But the notion of bringing in Samuel and sending Adams away could be a sensible long-term move for the Raiders.